We're out here in my shop today where I am about to finish these drawers that I made for a cherry chest of drawers. And I want to talk just a little bit about polyurethane and polyacrylic, which are two finishes, either one of which could be appropriate for this type of work. They are basically clear finishes. Uh, polyacrylic is, the big difference is polyacrylic is water-based and polyurethane is oil-based. The, the, uh, they say that they both dry clear. Actually, that's not true in my experience, it, precisely. Uh, the water-based polyacrylic, some of it dried on the lid of this, as I was, uh, oh, just before, after I opened it, I noticed, and you can see that it's not quite clear. It's a little bit whitish. And what you will find with the polyurethane uh, is that it has an, a slight orangish tinge to it. For instance, when I stir it, you can sort of see that on the stir stick. And if you want to do a close up of the color of that, it is an orangish kind of color there. So they each of them impart a little color. So what is the difference and why do I want to use one over the other? First of all, the polyacrylic uh, is non-volatile, non-toxic. So it's water-based. You can use it in an enclosed room and you don't have to worry about inhaling the vapors and it's not flammable. The polyurethane, on the other hand, being an oil-based product, can be harmful. The vapors can be harmful if you're in a closed room and you don't ventilate it properly. So you want to be careful about that. You can wear a respirator or just keep your work area well ventilated. Uh, the polyacrylic is uh, dries a lot faster than the polyurethane. The polyacrylic would probably dry within an hour or an hour and a half to be able to do a second coat. The polyurethane, on the other hand, requires you to dry it basically 12 hours or overnight before you can put another coat on it. Uh, I believe that the polyurethane it takes longer to do, but it gives you a tougher finish, a stronger finish, a finish that's more resistant to marring and scratching. Uh, poly, that said, polyacrylic is, is quite adequate and it works quite well. You might want to use more coats of it than you would with the polyurethane. Uh, you can uh, apply either of these uh, with a brush, simply brush it on and you want to brush it in long smooth strokes, try to keep a wet edge and take the brush marks out by smoothing and a light touch. Or you can wipe these on and I buy these cloths at the big box home improvement store uh, and you just cut them into probably smaller pieces than this. Just dip them in and you can then wipe it on. And again, you want to use smooth long strokes and you want to keep a wet edge and then when you've applied it you want to come back and smooth it out. You can also buy both of these in spray bottles, spray cans, or you can spray them through an HVLP sprayer like, uh, like you can other types of finishes. Mm -hmm. I don't, the piece you're doing is going to take a lot of wear and tear or it's going to be outside, you'd be much better off using polyacryl uh, polyurethane. The polyacrylic is more appropriate for interior, not in the sunshine, and not taking a heavy beating from kids or other uh, environmental concerns.